Hello, third graders, and happy Friday. I hope you guys have had a great week so far. Today, we are going to continue with our Greek god and goddesses. So go ahead and find the um, notes that you have had this whole week. Um, today, you need those as well. So make sure you have been keeping them in a safe spot. If for some reason you have um, lost them, you can go ahead and find them on Monday, September 21st, so 9-21. That's where the notes are attached. It's very important that you do have these notes. So let's go ahead and get started. We have been learning about lots of different gods and goddesses. So of course, we know Poseidon now god of the sea, rivers, floods, and earthquakes. He is one of the big three. We also know about Zeus. He is the king and father of the gods, the ruler of Mount Olympus, and the god of the sky, weather, thunder, lightning, law, order, and justice. He overthrew his father Cronus to be the most powerful Olympian. And then we know Hades with the Cerberus behind him. Hades is the god of the underworld and the dead, god of regret. Along with Zeus and Poseidon, he was considered one of the big three most important gods. Symbols of power are cornucopia and the helm of darkness. Sacred animal is a screech owl and a Cerberus. Athena, of course, she is the goddess of intelligence and skill, peace, battle, strategy, wisdom. She was born from Zeus's head. Her symbols of power are a shield and a spear. And then we have Hera, who is the wife of Zeus. And then Ares, god of the war. Apollo, god of music, arts, knowledge. Twin brother of Artemis, and Artemis is the twin sister of Apollo. And we have Hermes, god of travel, trade, communication, language, writing, known as messenger of gods. And then we have Dionysus, who's the god of the parties, chaos, wine. We learned about him yesterday. Dionysus, god of parties, chaos, wine, festivals, and madness. Satyrs serve him. His symbols are the thyrosus, the pine cone distaff, and grapevines. Sacred animals are a tiger, a dolphin, and a donkey. And then, of course, we know Hephaestus. He's the god of fire, metalworking, and crafts, husband of Aphrodite. Symbols are hammer, tongs, and anvil. Sacred animals are a donkey, guard dog, and crane. And of course, we have Aphrodite, goddess of love, beauty, and pleasure, wife of Hephaestus. Symbols, her symbols are my favorites because her symbols are flowers. And a scallop shell, and the sacred animal is a dove and sparrows. This next one is the first one that is not the Olympians. So not the 12, not the god or goddess, goddesses that deal with the Olympians. This is Hestia. Hestia is the goddess of hearth and home. Gave her seat as one of the 12 Olympians to Dionysus. So Dionysus, who we saw, um, she gave her spot as an Olympian to Dionysus. Her symbols are the cornucopia, which you can see right here on the bottom screen. Her sacred animal, she doesn't have any. Go ahead and take a couple of seconds to write this down. And remember, if you don't write all of this down right away as I move on right now, you can, of course, just pause the video right now. Our next goddess, this is Demeter. She is the goddess of grain, agriculture, growth, and nurse nourishment. She is the sister of Zeus, mother of Persephone. So Demeter... Demeter is the goddess of grain, agriculture, so farming, growth, and nourishment. She is Zeus's sister, and then she is the mother of Persephone. That's how you say that one. Oops. 
Her symbols are a cornucopia and wheat, and then her sacred animals are pigs and snakes. So go ahead and write this down. Okay, now if you don't have all this down, go ahead and just pause so that you can copy it down. So that is the end of this, you, this PowerPoint with the different gods and goddesses. You yesterday were um, taught about a folk tale and you were supposed to write your own in your composition notebook. Today, you're gonna do a worksheet that goes over a Native American type of folktale. So we learn about Greek mythology and then we also know about folk tales. but here in Arizona, we have lots of Native American history. So you're gonna read about a Native American folktale in your assignment today. That's the first thing that you're gonna do. And then you also need to make sure that you have all of your notes filled out now. So you, if you don't have your notes pages, you need to go back to Mondays and find what the notes are. And you need to make sure now that they are all filled out, okay? You have to do that to make sure that it's all filled out now since we're done with that PowerPoint. And then you also need to take your spelling quiz today. There are mythology questions on there, so please make sure that you answer that to the best of your ability, okay? If you have any questions, you can, of course, reach out to me. Have a great day, Firebirds.